so hello guys i am back with another video um for you guys today today i'm gonna show you guys how i got this makeup look and i've been so excited about this collection it took me a little while to gather everything together but i finally did and it is the bretman one and wild jungle rock collection um i'm pretty sure you guys seen this all over um youtube and all of that but this is the palette it is so colorful um it has a couple of shimmers but yeah this is the look that i came up with and then before we get into the video i want to just pretty much explain what the whole collection has even though i will be talking about it throughout the video so again is the, the palette is like the main thing which is so beautiful um next they did come out with a dewy setting spray this is to me in the jungle it is what it's called so this one does have a little bit of shimmer like a little bit of glitter so if you are a matte person i don't think this is for you but um for the summer i think this even like on like here your chest your shoulders i think this will look so pretty um next is um i got a lip lip gloss i believe it is yes lip gloss this is in the shade ferocity and it's just like a little gold moment um they did have a couple of other options but um i don't know if you guys know but i'm not like such a huge lip person that's not like the thing i go for so i just got one which is enough for me um next is they did come out with brushes three little brushes they have a highlight brush which i think is so good and i think it's going to become one of my new favorite ones they have a little blending brush which is really good and then they came out with like a little shadow packer brush i usually use these type of brushes for um shimmery or glittery shades um, so next in this little collection is their duo highlight this is the thing i took me forever to get to get my hands on and also um i was really excited about this so it is a duo because it comes with two it has a gold and a like bronzy one the gold one is very thin it has no type of chunky glitters but the bronze one does guys um i will say that if you guys have ever tried the one wild loose highlighters that's how much pretty much how this gold one is um i only used the gold one just because i don't want like too much of chunky glitters on my face but again you can always mix them up or use them separately but yeah guys this is it and then also throughout this video since it was a wet and wild video i decided to use all wet and wild products um, and grab a snack grab your brushes and let's jump right into the video guys hey guys so we're gonna go ahead and start off with this really hot pink fuchsia shade it is called fleming ho um i think the names in this palette are so funny but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and take that on a morphe m330 brush and i'm pretty much just gonna try to pack on the color and blend it out a little bit i want to get this color as pigmented as i can um these shadows were really easy to blend out i didn't have any issue with them they're not um like chalky at all and then next i'm gonna go ahead and take this brush that was in the collection it is the shadow precision brush it's just pretty much like a little blending brush this brush was really easy to work with and i'm just gonna go ahead and use that to blend out that um fuchsia shade even a little bit higher than what i'm gonna go ahead and do right now um so you're yeah, just gonna want to blend that out Next, I'm going to take this purple shade called Feline Myself, like Feeling Myself, but Feline since it's like a jungle theme. I think the names, again, are so cute. I'm just going to take this shade and I'm going to apply it on my crease, but I'm not going to blend this shade too high up. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a really small blending brush for this. And then I took another clean, clean brush. It is the M3301. And I'm going to use this one to blend out that purple. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to go in with the shade Alpha and it is a black and it does have a little bit of gold sparkle in there but that's fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that on my um, outer third of my eye, eyes just to deepen it up a little bit and make this look a little more intense. And then for the brush I'm just using an elf crease brush and then I went back in with that Morphe brush to just give it a real nice blend. Um, and then here we're going to go ahead and cut the crease and I'm just going to use the elf camo concealer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the regular one because they do have a hydrating one. Um, and you guys know the drill, how I cut my crease. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of feeling myself and I'm just going to go ahead and pack that on the lid just so we don't lose it when we apply the color alpha, which is the black one. And I'm just going to try to blend it out as much as I can. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade King of the Jungle and I'm going to go ahead and apply that with their packer placement brush is what they called it. Um, but pretty much it's just like a little flat um, type of brush to pack on shimmers is what i think these are best for so now to set the brow bone i'm going to take this one called coconut and then i cannot pronounce the second part of the name so i'll just leave it here on the screen and then for the waterline i'm going to go ahead and take anaconda and then i'm also going to go ahead and apply venomous which is like this darker green and that is just going to go on the waterline so we have a little bit of color so for the lashes i'm going to go ahead and use these remy lashes in the style 782 by ardell and then we're going to move on to face and i'm just going to go ahead and prime with the when and wild hydrating primer so to color correct, I'm going to use the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette in the light one. And then where I applied that, I'm just going to go ahead and top it off with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the um, shade Orange Corrector. So that's just going to help my skin look a lot better when I go in and apply my foundation. Next, for the foundation, I'm going to take their Dewy one, obviously, from Wet n Wild. This, was, this one is in the shade Cream Beige. And I'm just going to go ahead and dot my face and then just blend it out with my Elf All Over Face Sponge. So for concealer, I'm going to take this one in the shade Light Ivory and I'm just going to highlight um, under my eye, forehead, down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. As always, my face routine has not changed, just the part that I'm um, color correcting. And then here I'm going to take this e.l.f. Um, it is actually for their camo concealer, but I like that it's a lot smaller so it really helps me blend under my eyes. Next, I'm going to take this makeup stick in the shade Where's Walnut, and I'm just going to go ahead and cream contour with this. Um, I really like this one specifically, and the LA Girl one is really good too. And then to blend that out, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. I originally bought it for my concealer, but I really like it just to kind of blend out my contour. So here I have two bronzers. I have the Ticket to Brazil and Sunset Strip Tees. I'm going to go ahead and use the darker one, almost like a transition color, and really deepen up and contour my face. And then I'm going to take the Ticket to Brazil, which is the lightest one, just to blend it out and make it look a little more like blended out and into the skin type of flawless. Um, I've been using this technique and I think I like it a little better on my base um sometimes my bronzers tend to look a little ashy which um we don't want that but yeah that's what i'm gonna go ahead here apply the lightest bronzer to my face 
Next, we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Translucent Powder. Um, it is just in the shade Translucent. They do have, I believe, a banana one and then like two other darker shades. I am not sure. But I'm just taking this one and then we're going to clean everything up and just set everything into place. Next, I'm going to go in with this blush. It is in the shade Nudist Society. Um, it says they're new. I'm not too sure if they just repackaged or something. But we're just going to apply a little bit of color to the face. So here I'm just going to go ahead and brush everything off. I'm not I didn't bake for too long. I just wanted my um makeup to set. That was all. Um it's up to you if you want to bake a little longer. So this is their duo highlighter. It has two highlights in here and then the highlight brush they came out with which is so nice. And then also we have a dewy setting spray. I am going to go ahead and set before I apply the highlight just so we can see how intense it is. So the shade that I use here is the shade um, Lioness. Next for lip gloss, I'm going to go in and take this one called Ferocity. I believe they had like two or three lip glosses and one matte lip. But um, if you guys know me, I'm not such a big lip person. So this lip gloss was enough for me. It would also look super cute um, on top of an actual lipstick. But yes, guys, this is the final look. Um, thank you guys for sticking around and watching it till the end. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, leave any comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.